and they're off for the 2021 Grade 1 Betfair Chase. And Bristol de May and Royal Pagai in the pink silks lead them towards the first of the 19 scheduled fences. Each jump it soundly. Uh, waiting patiently seemed to find the first fence catching him slightly by surprise. And he got in a little bit close to it in last place, the pink cap for century chasing Brian Hughes. So two circuits ahead of them. And it's Bristol de May who has his grey head just in front of Royal Pagai on the Barrack turn, trapped a couple lengths away by the nose banded Imperial Aura. And then a three or four length break to Aplutar, Rachel Blackmore in the Chiefly Park silks of red, white, and blue, racing on the inner of Clondor Castle. Another couple lengths away to Chatham Street Lad, and waiting patiently, uh, held up as they begin a gentle downhill run towards the second, the first of the five fences across in the back straight. So Royal Pagai and Bristol de May taking on the early pace each landing safely enough there better jump from waiting patiently in last place seems to have warmed to the task now as they head on towards the third Royal Pagai on the near side of Bristol de May tracked by Imperial Aura the leading pair each shortening up going into that Chatham Street lad the hoop sleeves landed a little steeply last but one behind Clondor Castle and Aplutar and just in front of waiting patiently midway down the back straight for the first time and all seven safe enough there so on towards another plain fence before the first the ditches they're approaching the fifth Royal Pagai and Bristol de May and Bristol de May the more fluent of the leading duo Imperial Aura remains two or three lengths away in third tracked by Aplutar and then Clondor Castle with the dark sleeves and cap. And Bristol de May really came out of Jacob's hands there at the ditch, soared out over it, just leading Royal Pagai into the far corner from Imperial Aura Aplutar. Clondor Castle, Chatham Street Lad, last but one, and finally uh, waiting patiently. So they're moving on now towards the last two miles of the Betfair chase. This field of seven winners between them were 35 of their 100 appearances over fences and they have cumulative career earnings in excess of two million pounds and Bristol de May striding on in his bid for a record equaling success in this race leaves Royal Pagai towards the near side Imperial Aura taking off and landing right behind the leading pair three lengths to Aplutar tracked by Condor Castle and waiting patiently the pink cap disputing last with Chatham Street Lad here's another open ditch fence eight Bristol de May again very assured, wasting no time in the air. Royal Pagai on the left, the nose bounded Imperial Aura, a couple of lengths off the lead. Third in the line up the straight brings them to the end of a circuit. Bristol de May virtually joined once again by Royal Pagai and Imperial Aura. Blackmore sitting quietly in fourth aboard Aplutar in the red, white, and blue. And the final three, Clondor Castle waiting patiently and Chatham Street Lad, and there Royal Pagai jumped particularly fluently alongside Bristol de May. At the other end of the field, Chatham Street Lad was less assured and was in close to it. So halfway, a circuit to go in the Betfair chase. Royal Pagai in the pink and Bristol de May have been the leading duo from the outset, and there's been very little change in the order in behind. Imperial Aura is still heading the chase, just over two lengths in advance of Aplutar. And the final three, Clondor Castle, Waiting patiently makes a position, and Chatham Street Lad is now just last of the field. Going along at just shy of 30 miles an hour as they begin the downhill run towards the 11th. Royal Pagai and Bristol de May from Imperial Aura Aplutar. Glondor Castle waiting patiently, and Chatham Street Lad rising. Leading three jumping well, the four in behind matching those leaps, and on to the 12th they go. Royal Pagai. Bristol de May on the near side. Imperial Aura has his mind made up from there and responds with a very swift leap, very good, forced an error from Chatham Street Lad, who was just being asked to go a little quicker at the time. Towards the midpoint in the back straight, a mile to go. Bristol de May jumping soundly alongside Royal Pagan. Imperial Aura is down, he landed steeply, jumped so well at the previous fence, uh, but he landed very steeply there. He might have mildly inconvenienced, waiting patiently who had to be nudged along on the landing side and is back into last place. And he's a little bit of drift. He made a mistake there as well, waiting patiently. And it's Royal Pagai from Bristol de May with Aplutar 
waiting in the wings as they take the open ditch at the end of the back straight Royal Pagai in close to it Aplutar on the outer ranging up in behind Bristol to May Chatham Street lad belying his price at the moment in fourth the hoop sleeves then Clondor Castle no real show from waiting patiently who's toiling out the back he's being eased off looks like being pulled up by Brian Hughes and it's Royal Pagai with Jacob now just asking for a little more from Bristol to May and still Blackmore has yet to move in behind on Aplutar Three lengths away to Chatham Street, Loud and Clondor Castle. Last of the five still going. And they're heading now towards four out in the Betfair chase. Royal Pagai in the Ritchie Silks. To Bristol to May, asked for a bit more effort still. And he wasn't as quick as through the air as Aplutar, who has now sauntered alongside Royal Pagai. Chatham Street, Loud is being to close in. He moves up to take third. Bristol to May is relegated to fourth. Here's the open ditch. Royal Pagai narrowly from Aplutar. Chatham Street lad with three lengths to make up. Bristol de May is well held. He's now last. Condor Castle has gone fourth. And Aplutar, with a sense of see you later, has forged on to take over at the second last. Bristol de May has been pulled up. And Blackmore still sits quietly. And Aplutar is opening up with just one left to jump in the Betfair chase. Aplutar over safely with a long lead over Royal Pagai in second. Clondor Castle and Chatham Street Ladder fighting out third. There's only one horse in this, the first Irish train winner of the Betfair chase, and a golden year for Rachel Blackmore continues. Aplutar, a class apart. Sees off Royal Pagai, Chatham Street Ladder in third, and Clondor Castle, last of four to complete. Well, a pat down the neck from Rachel Blackmore and A Plutar, and the horse has barely, if at all, broken sweat in winning the Grade 1 Betfair chase and won it so, so easily, um, jumped beautifully throughout, and going down a two-out, Ruby, it, it just looked a case of how far. Oh, yeah, she was very confident on him. Lovely position on him every step of the way. <coughs> Followed him round into the straight. Royal Pagai, Bristol de May, took each other on. Imperial Aura went at him down the back before he fell, but... No Rachel Blackmore let them all laddered in front of her and waited to come out Charlie Deutsch on Royal Pagai when he'd gotten the better of Bristol de May and you know back at the fourth last and she pulled it back loads of confidence over the third last and it was a case of not slowing him down again as he went to the second last and pinged it quick and sharply then and she slowed him down to jump the last and he's absolutely bolted it. Great year for her, um, wonderful year for Rachel Blackmore and um, this horse looked really really good today. Yeah, that was a, the, the perfect start to this campaign for Aplutar and Rachel Blackmore in the Chibi Park colours. Mm. Imperial Law is up OK, by the way, as is David Bass. That is good news and a good performance from Henry Romhead too. I mean, he's had six winners at the Cheltenham Festival last year. Four of them have been beaten so far this year in reappearance. Mm. But this fella's gone and absolutely bolted it.